Science. Yeah. Science for the win. Yeah. Not only science. Sound quality is 50%. Not 50%. 80% half, science. Half science. Half uh, art. Uh, yeah. All right. Break it down. What is it? I don't know how many percent. <laughs> All right. So, who are you and what do you do? All right. My name is Nathan Budiono. I'm from Michigan, Detroit area. And I'm currently working for Harman International in the OEM group. I'm responsible for all OEM system, supplying all the OEM system and all the next generation future systems. When you say OEM systems, you mean like uh, the, like stock cars yeah, that like come whatever out? comes with, with the car. Because Harman is the number one in market share for after for for branded system. Yeah. JBL, Infinity, Revo for Lincoln, AKG for Cadillac, Infinity for Hyundai, and everything. I you do got. all that stuff. I don't. I used to be responsible for Mark Levins and Lexus. Uh huh. But I only got an assignment for four years, and now I'm more in the next generation future which include all brands okay so my job is to offer this brand for certain com certain uh customer that fit right to make sure that it performs well and we got the business okay so, so you do oem stuff so yeah. this stuff is a sideline this is this your is a, it's a combination of a hobby and i'm also promoting the product that Obviously. My employer and, uh, is, the, employer is doing. Uh, you're doing pretty, yeah. pretty well at it too, yeah. I think. Thank you. So tell yeah. me about your system here. All right. Uh, since you'll be looking at the trunk, okay. As, as you can see, I have many amplifiers. In I here. see this. And this amplifier is is um is made by Ethan. Ethan is E T O N. It's a German company. Okay. They have a core line, which is their top of the line amplifier. It's only two channel per unit. And it's very very clean. It's only the THD is zero point zero zero one percent, and zero point zero zero seven plus noise, which is very very low distortion. And then here you see the latest subwoofer from JPL Arena X, mm -hmm. Arena X line, twelve inch. Good looking stuff. Yeah, and the is back side uh, I custom made printing it. But is this sealed or sealed IV? enclosure okay. firing to the bottom enclosure is about one cube. One and a half cubic feet, something like that. I still have spare tire underneath. No, oh, so there <laughs> you go. It's heavy to remove to live, but I have it. <laughs> if you hit, if you get a flat, you can uh, you can change it. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. Yeah. I have a picture where. <laughs> There's not a lot of though. people here that can say that. <laughs> yeah, <probably>. right. <laughs> Including me. Yeah, and the uh, brain of the system. One of the brain of the system is this unit. This unit is uh, exactly what comes from the Lexus LS500. Uh huh. It's a 16 channel. How many? Built 16 channel. Oh. 16 channel built in amplifier and the DSP inside is the one that I'm after because it has the technology called quantum logic immersion. Oh, wow. Quantum logic immersion is a Harman owned technology that convert two channel stereo into 7.1.4. Okay. So, so seven, legit seven channels surround plus four height speakers. So legit it's like 3D. up mixing. Legit up, up mixing. Yeah, yeah. 3D is round basically. Right. Okay. That's why I have a lot of so channels. The, so for people who don't know, like you can't just have rear speakers and mm -hmm. have them correct unless you have something legitimate. You don't up -mixing. have to, to start with, but with this one, it's like putting ice on the, icing on the cake. There you go, icing on the cake. Yeah. I like it. Awesome. <laughs> and okay. you can take a pic. There's a speak, rear speaker also for my rear channel. For so I have a seven point one system. Okay, you have seven point one. Yeah, and also I also have another M behind this panel for powering this up. It's a JBL, JBL. Uh, I forgot. Stadium, stadium, thousand watt, which is in this one on this side for a thousand watt amp, and my distribution block. And uh, you can go from the driver's seat. I'll go to the passenger okay. seat. And as I said before, the amplifier is come from Lexus uh, LS500. The problem is that amplifier only works with the uh, Lexus head unit. Okay. The output is proprietary uh, Toyota Digital. Mm -hmm. it's, it's called EMOS. There's no other head unit that can control that amp. 
That's why I'm integrating a Lexus head unit in my Suzuki. So this is all coming from the Lexus L LC500. This one coming from the LC500, the display from the Alex Lexus RX. So and you just stole all of it. Yeah, so I integrated into my car, even complete with rear rear camera, everything works. And the speed sensing also works. So all the trackpad is coming. It's all working. Oh, it's a trackpad? Yeah, like, yeah, this is what comes in a Lexus. So like, no kidding. Here, this is not touchscreen. So you just have to type it like if you want to pause it like this or <laughs> and browse whatever. Dude, that is awesome. That's and fantastic. This head unit is so complete. It has CD player, mm -hmm. DVD player, Blu-ray player, and a Sega DBS encoding for some. Oh, you fancy. Yeah. You fancy. And uh, like I said earlier, my ampli my processor have 16 channel. 16 channel. So I have a 16 channel, 16 speaker system. Starting with the uh, front stage is three-way JBL Arena X. Let me turn on so it doesn't beep. Arena X six and a half inch, three inch tweeter Ametrins, and the the new Beryllium with the wave guide tweeter. Wow. So one, two, that three, is something. Four, five, six is uh, my front stage. Yeah. Center speaker. I'm running the same setup, which is Matrix and the Twitter. So that way I have left, center, and right have the same timber. So we have to have a timber match. And I'm adding this speaker. That's a, speaking of timber, just to just to sidetrack yeah. for a second, that's a bigger deal than than some pro people probably think, right? Having matching speakers yeah, and matching be timber. Because the number one reason is because my system is considered a surround system. Mm -hmm. So with the surround system, you want to have all the same timber coming from all sources right. of the sound. So the, that way it can blend better. Mm -hmm. You cannot have different brand speaker to to, to put in the, in a system. Like right. Different brand have different Twitter characteristics, things like that. And this one, I added a speaker. It's in uh, in uh, in the surround system it's considered as a side speaker okay so the side the content is different so most people most people saying that how do you tune speaker so close like this it will fight each other it's not because the sound that's coming from this and this is different so this complement to each other okay. it's not fighting each other right and this is the side speaker and then the rear speaker also for the surround rear speaker which we i mentioned earlier so, so this the, alone is already showing 7.1 system, mm -hmm. right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and it's point 0.1 is a subwoofer. And this system is 7.1.3 originally, but now it's reduced to 7.1.2. The point 0.2 is the height speaker. Uh, I have two height speakers here. <gasps> oh, <laughs> you got secrets. Yeah, this speaker is... You got secrets. The the driver comes from the Lexus LS500. In LS500, there's four of these. It's just one, two, three, four for the rear passenger, but I don't have rear seat anyway. I mean, not usable. So I'm only used the front one. Oh, I used to have one secrets. in the center here, but I removed it because it doesn't really need, my car is small, you know. And as far as the other features is like the head units integrated into my Suzuki, even my steering wheel from my Suzuki works with the all with the, the things unit. everything all not losing things. anything yeah a lot of speakers in here how do you tame it a lot all? of speakers yeah people uh, do you have people control saying over? why six oh yeah because i can tune the amplifier okay the dsp is in the amplifier all 16 speaker can be controlled from everything from the eq crossover time delay and many things on the on the, on the surround system has infinite variables you can adjust infinitely pretty literally infinite you can there's so many parameters that you can just so uh for people who don't know you and are, are just watching or meeting you for the first time you compete in two seat and single seat yeah yeah with yeah, the yeah. same tune is that correct i or used do you to change it but up? not anymore oh you change it up now uh in the past i was tuned, i was using the two seat tuning for one seat mm -hmm. but it, I barely win sometimes. Just barely win? I mean, oh, we need to... I want to... You want to... Yeah. <laughs> you want to beat people so, bad. So I give up. So I, I make up the two settings. That's yeah. amazing. I don't yeah. think people understand, like, most people that are watching. Which is don't. opposite to most most people. Most people use one seat tune for two seat class. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> most, I don't think people understand how difficult two seat tuning is. Right. Like, yeah. Two people... It should not be difficult. Yeah. I'm saying this because in the 90s, the class availability is only two. That's it. 
That's it. So we could, we've done it before. Why we don't want to do it? I don't understand. <laughs> you have to do it. It can be done. That's right. So for people who don't know, two judges get here at the same time. One mm -hmm. sits here, one sits there, mm -hmm. and they both have a score sheet, and they do. Yeah, and, then and they, they are good each other sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> so I hear it here. No, I hear it there. <laughs> it's got to be the toughest class there is to get them to get. Yeah, which you cannot get perfect seats. anyway. Like like today, the two sheet judges said that the passenger sheets it's imaging better, things like that. That that can happen depending on the size of the judges, the height of the judges. Right. It it can create asymmetrical, which even though I try to get it as close to symmetrical possible, mm -hmm. but still, there's still variance. So you human spend, variance. You spend as much time in this seat. As you do in that seat, tuning and yeah, listening, yeah, yeah. and or do you just trust the measurements or start with measurement, of course, because I'm an engineer to acoustic engineer, so I have to do I have to confirm that sound the ob subjective mm -hmm. sound is confirmed by objective data. If if subjective only does it doesn't agree with the objective, I will not stop. You gotta figure it out. I have to fix until both subjective and objective agree. I love that. That means it's proven, yeah. Which it's still not hundred percent guaranteed that all the judges like it. That's right. That's still right. have some preference Fantastic. among judges. I like that approach, though the scientific approach, because I've, yeah, I've, I've talked to a lot of people. That's one of the reason why I, my my placement is consistent, consider consistent of uh, like in all, always doing well, well, well. It's not just based on luck. Like some some people, oh, one day sounds good, the other time not good. I mean, like, right. unless I have broken broken equipment. Then right. I love it. Science. Yeah. Science for the win. Yeah. Not only science. Sound quality is fifty percent. Not fifty percent. Eighty percent science. Half science. Half uh, art. Uh, yeah. All right. Break it down. What is it? I don't know how many percent. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say high, it's higher than fifty percent science. Mostly yeah, science, yeah. but the, the I want to say sixty-five percent at least science. The rest are art, artistic, art, artistic. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. Well, I appreciate you taking the time, man. No this problem. This car is amazing, and I just love this car. Yeah. Uh, and you haven't heard it yet. I, I just, <laughs> I just really love this car because it is just such a cool car. And you're a, you're a Suzuki guy, right? Don't you have more yeah, than... Yeah, I'm a really Suzuki How many Suzukis fans. do you have? Currently in my house, only two. I, I, I had like Last four. month, I have three. Oh, yeah. I just <laughs> crashed the other one last month. You did what? Crashed it. You totally. crushed it? Yeah. Why would you crush it? I was not careful driving it. Oh, no. That hurts my heart. Yeah, but I still have my 1989 Suzuki Swift ready to compete anytime so oh. i'm thinking maybe bringing it in a near future okay good all right well i'm rebuilding this <laughs> well i appreciate your time man all right thank, thank you so you. much yeah See hey guys a little uh, post finals update here um as you can see in this picture Nathan did very very well and uh first i just want to take a moment to uh thank him for taking the time to talk to to me and show us his car but uh, i'll just break it down all of his um his accomplishments from finals this year really quickly um uh, world champ in mask unlimited mask is a new uh new and upcoming organization and we'll be sitting i actually talked with the owner uh so we'll be uploading that here soon he also won a uh, mask two seat he won mask king of the hill award uh, also world champ in Iaska expert one seat world champ Iaska expert two seat uh, champ in Emma M unlimited one seat uh, he also competed in the 2x and won there um, he also won world championship mecca master one seat he won best of show with the highest SQ score in Mecca, 89.5, which is insane. He is the repeat winner of the Culbertson Cup, you can see there in the picture, and that's, uh, I think, the highest, just the highest score of the show. And uh, let's see, he also got, oh, he took second in Mecca two-seat to uh, Brian Mitchell, which is another ridiculous car. So congrats to Nathan, and uh, 
what a great car.